As nature awakens from its dormant slumber, the first signs of spring's vibrancy emerges as wildflowers bloom along the forest floor. Spring ephemerals start to appear in late winter as they take advantage of the available sunlight that reaches the ground before the trees sprout their leaves. The cycle of these flowers is short-lived and lasts for only a few weeks. These flowers blanket many parts of the Smoky Mountains and throughout various areas of the National Park, acres upon acres of these small flowers cover the ground. Spring Beauties, a common sight in early spring, is one of the first ephemerals to emerge. These flowers are very animated and act like solar panels that track and follow the path of the sun throughout the day. Spring beauties rely on insects to pollinate and disperse their seeds, and after they are pollinated, they disappear within a few weeks after they emerge. Fringe Facilia is another early spring bloomer. In a landscape dominated by perennials, this species is a winter annual. This plant will quickly emerge and over the course of a week will take over large sections of the landscape, painting hillsides with white flowers that resemble a dusting of snow. After a few weeks of flowering, the plants will die back, leaving only their seeds to re-sow the area for the next year. Another common and abundant species is trilliums. Trilliums are a perennial and can take anywhere from six to eight years to have their first bloom. These plants rely on ants and other insects to disperse their seeds, and germination of new plants can take anywhere from two to three years. Trilliums are very fragile, and picking their flowers can prevent the plant from blooming again for many years. Great Smoky Mountains National Park contains over 1,500 kinds of flowering plants and trees. More species bloom here than in any other national park in North America. Visiting the Smokies during spring, you are guaranteed to see one of the richest diversities of wildflowers on the planet.